Since it opened in 2005, the Innovation Park at the centre of BRE's main site at Watford in Hertfordshire has grown to showcase a number of innovative near-zero carbon buildings. This little programme focuses on the Cub House, added to the park in April 2010. So here we are on the roof of the Barrett Greenhouse here on the BRE Innovation Park. And from our vantage point up here, we can see clearly the, uh, the Cub House. We can see the photovoltaic panels on the roof. And we can also see how a third row of modules could be added, a third floor of modules could be added to make this into a three-storey building. OK, so we're now going to go inside the Cub House and uh, go and talk to the designer of this exciting new building, Charlie Grieg. The front door's around the back, so bear with me. So I'm now here with Charlie Gregg, the designer of the, uh, the Cub House. Charlie, welcome, uh, welcome back to BRE. You. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I, I understand you had a bit of a background in the fashion industry. There's a bit of a change. Uh, yes, uh, I was a fashion designer for 15 years and had my own uh, international business. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to uh, get more into building um, about 15 years ago in traditional building methods. Mm -hmm. And then as I learned more about sustainability, I realised that I couldn't have reached the codes uh, successfully with traditional buildings. So I then looked at modular and that's how CUB really came about in the beginning. Now you've mentioned modular there. <clears throat> Most of the other buildings on the Innovation Park here have arrived as flat panels and so on. Just explain what modular systems are, what does this mean? Uh, modular means that homes are built off-site in a factory and are delivered to site, uh, usually fully assembled. And the difference between this home to the other homes on the park is that this is made with steel frame construction. So it's a steel frame box mm -hmm. that's kitted out with bathrooms, kitchens, wiring, tiles, uh, everything together as a home and delivered onto a simple foundation base, uh, which takes a couple of days. So it's a very quick way uh, of, of building home. Futureform are our delivery partners. So CUB is the concept. Uh, and they will then deliver when we receive our orders, um, manufacture them and deliver them to site uh, and organise all the utilities, foundations and sign off. So it's a two part operation. Now this house has reached code level five, yes. uh, the code for sustainable homes. Tell me about some of the technologies that are in the house to achieve that. Um. Uh, okay, well uh, on the uh, energy side we have a heat recovery um, ventilation unit which uh, puts 128,000 litres of air change per hour throughout the building so you always have fresh air in the building which is also good if you're an allergy sufferer because it uh, avoids that's, stuff. That's in the unit that's, over there. We'll, that's we'll, in the we'll corner so it's very compact and that also uh, heats the hot water and it also has a cooling facility of eight degrees lower than the external temperature outside which is uh, largely because the windows are so big uh, mm. you would you know the houses would get very warm otherwise. So that's on the, the energy uh, side and heat recovery happens because you've got an airtight seal in the building. So your body heat or your cooking or hair dryers contribute to captured energy within the home, which reduces your, your running cost. We also have low energy lighting. Water saving features come as standard. Rainwater harvesting, uh, which is collected from the roof externally in the building. Um, we are, have been very careful about the materials that are used in the build. Um, eco, recyclable and English if possible, uh, that, you know, there's a, a big passion about trying to manufacture not only the products in the UK but use materials and suppliers from the UK as well. Um, so you know, we've addressed a, an awful lot of uh, design uh, principles in the brief. So the people who live here are going to enjoy uh, an elegant design a home Absolutely. and a sustainable lifestyle in the Absolutely. at the same time. It's a house in a bag. Uh, you know, the, the whole philosophy is try and make the process of buying a sustainable home as easy as possible and affordable and that still looks beautiful. Well, it certainly looks beautiful. So, Charlie Gregg, thank you very much. And uh, we'll go off and have a look at some of the, uh, the other features now around the house. One thing, the, the first thing you notice is this enormous area of glass. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a little bit of a problem regarding privacy? There is a mirror tint on the windows which gives you daylight privacy uh, until the evening when you put internal lights on and then uh, you have, need to put the blackout curtains across. So I wanted people to enjoy having the big windows without having their curtains up but still be able to have some privacy. Yes. OK, so we've got this large area of glazing, yeah. which gives you these tremendous views out. What about noise? I mean, you know, if you were near a flight path or a busy road, is that a problem? No, not at all. Uh, the, the, the cup homes 
beat building regulations by four times uh, what is required in terms of, uh, shame we're not on the inside, <laughs> uh, uh, acoustic performance. Um, so if you lived in a flight path or on a busy road, you would you be amazed how quiet the homes are inside. And this is all to do with the airtight seal of the building, which is what is required to get a carbon neutral home. Yes, this airtightness issue is, is a big problem for, uh, for a lot of developers yes. uh, and of course is a key thing to helping your heat recovery system work yes. as well. Yes. Now, tell me about the cladding on the outside of this building. Here we see it in this, this glorious white cladding. Yes. Um, what's it made from? Uh, this uh, building is in a Steny rain uh, clad system and it comes with a 60 year plus lifetime guarantee and it's graffiti proof. Mm -hmm. um, it really doesn't have anything to do with uh, the building because the building is insulated uh, and, and made underneath the rain clad uh, system. So it's really just for aesthetics and is available uh, in lots of other different cladding systems because not all planners are going to allow to have these beautiful shiny uh, white boxes. So we also do it in timber, in brick slip, uh, in render um, and also in, the, in the, the polar range we call this. And the beauty of this this particular building is that it's molded, uh, these are all handmade molded fin sections so you get these beautiful tactile round corners that you wouldn't get if it was a brick building. So for, for what we see here, we've got a, a two storey house, um, what's a typical cost for the building and ownership of this house? Well there are lots of different ways you can put the building together, uh, different interiors, the two different interiors, you can slightly down spec it or up spec it and there are different cladding options so it's a bit difficult to give you one finite answer but under £200,000 for a three bedroom house uh, under a hundred thousand for a one-bedroom house which will be as just a single story uh, and uh, about two hundred and eighty thousand for a five-bedroom house so we're here on the BRE Innovation Park and uh, a number of building partners have put up buildings here Charlie tell me about how BRE has helped Cub solution Cub housing here well, it, they've been amazing and I'm, I'm very glad that we took this uh, route from the very beginning. Uh, we only started the, co the concept of CUB a year ago, which is amazing that we've managed to, to do so much in a short space of time. Um, but we work very closely with the BRE and the Code for Sustainable Homes from the offset, which allowed us to be able to get our certification for the launch in place because it takes an awful lot of time to go through the process and to you know, assess your building correctly. Uh, the BRE um, Innovation Park here has international visitors of uh, uh, great value to us. Uh, it means that everyone gets to see it. Uh, schools are able to see it, which again is something that we're very passionate about to train the new generation yeah. of homeowners. Um, and we're very honoured to be part of the park. Here we go. So, Charlie Gregg, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And we wish you all the best with Cub Homes in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Find out more about the Cub House and the other buildings on the Innovation Park at our website, bre.co.uk forward slash innovation park.